Welcome. In this video, we are going to look at problem 9 from chapter 9 of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. Okay, we have a person carrying a plank of wood. We know the total length. Um, the person has one hand pushing down at one end, and that's going to be force F1. The other hand is holding it up at the point five zero zero meter from the end with force F2. And the plank has a mass of 20.0 kilograms and its center gravity is at the middle of the plank. We need to find the magnitudes of the forces F1 and F2. All right, let's draw the extended free body diagram for the plank. Okay, so we know this is the one meter. We know that's the two meter mark. Here's our 0 0.500 zero meters. Okay. And so on one end, pushing down with F1. And at the point 0.5, we're pressing up with F2. And then the center of gravity is at the middle of the plank. That will be at the 1 meter mark. This is the weight, which is mg. Okay. And so we know the sum of the torques is 0. The person's holding it. The, the plank of wood isn't spinning around. And so we need to find the F1 and F2. Let's make the center. We'll make the center of gravity as the pivot. Okay. Then if, if only F1 were there, it would cause the plank to rotate counterclockwise like that. And if F2 was the only one there, it would cause clockwise rotation. Okay. And counterclockwise rotation is taken to be the positive rotation. Okay. We can draw from the axis of rotation to where the force is applied. This is our R1. And we'll draw another one, R2 for F2. And so what we have is R1, F1, sine 90. That's the one making the counterclockwise rotation, so that's positive. Then we're going to subtract R2, F2, sine 90. Because F2 is the one making clockwise rotation. Okay? And then since the axis of rotation is at um, where the weight is applied, the R would be zero. And so those are the only two forces we have, and they add up to zero. Okay? Sine 90 is one. So we have R1, F1 minus R2, F2 is zero. So R1, F1 is equal to R2, F2. Okay, and so that means F1 is R2 over R1 times F2. All right, and we can see that R1 is 1 meter because it's going from the center to the end. F2 is applied at the 0 0.5 mark, so R2 is also 0 0.5. And so what we have is F1 is 0 0.500 meters over 1.00 meters times F2. So F1 is 0 0.500 meters times F2. Okay, we can sum the forces. 
they are also equal to zero. And so here what we have is an upward F2 minus downward F1 minus downward weight. Those are all the forces we have. They add up to zero. Okay. And so if we solve for F2, we add F1 to both sides and add the weight to both sides. Okay. And so F2 is going to be F1. F1 we just said was 0 0.500. I'll leave off the units for now. F2. And then weight is mg. We'll subtract that F the 0 0.500 F2 from both sides. And we get 0 0.500 F2 is equal to mg. And so F2 is the mass, which is the 20 kilograms times G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, divided by the 0 0.500. We find F2 is 392 newtons. Now we can plug that in and get F1. F1 is 0 0.500 times F2, which is 392 newtons. And so F1 is 196 newtons. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there are other problems you'd like to see me solve or if you have comments. Your feedback is important. It will help me make better content for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.